black mom and a woman, I am so proud, Attorney Armstrong, for you to join us in Connecticut. You are my shero. I've seen you as a civil rights attorney fight alongside the very people in the community with demonstration and civil rights activities. But in Connecticut, we have a lot of black attorneys that are under attack for taking on racial discrimination cases, for taking on civil rights cases. It's like if you fight for the rights of the, of the black and brown community, we will penalize you. So what words of encouragement do you have for, for women like me, right? For moms like me, you're a mom. And for attorneys, black attorneys who want to fight, because we had to, uh, LaShawn Robinson had to go outside of the state to get representation to fight for her constitutional rights because it looks like the courage or the fear overwhelms some to help this mother. So what words of encouragement or words of call to action do you have for us in Connecticut? Well, the words of Frederick Douglass come to mind, which is power concedes nothing without a demand. It never has and it never will. And the issues, the intimidation, the fear that people are facing is no different from when our, what our ancestors faced when they were fighting for freedom, justice, and equality. And they had far fewer resources than we have today. They didn't have social media. Many of them didn't have vehicles. Many of them didn't have access to an education. So who are we to shrink back in the face of injustice and to worry about ourselves? We have whole generations that are dependent upon our courage and our willingness to stand up and fight and to look white supremacy straight in the eye and to declare that this ends today in 2018. Thank you so much for the words of encouragement and I will see you at the public light very shortly. Thank you, Gwen. Thank you for it. Okay. Are you going to edit on?